We have a high definition or high resolution satellite that is kind of focused in on Invest 90, showing you this earlier where you really do see that well-defined, kind of broad, although more organized circulation. No, not entirely certain if it's completely closed off or not. And certainly the winds around it are not supportive of a tropical system just yet. But just a, sheer, a, show, a, a clear sign that as this thing does move over the warm water and a little bit more of a hospitable environment in the Atlantic, we will likely see this become a bit better organized. The other system that we're watching, and this is being highlighted by the Hurricane Center, is down to the Bay of Campeche. Not a big surprise within that Central American gyre. In the Bay of Campeche, because of the shape of the coastline of Mexico, it is a little bit more conducive for these storms to start rotating. And the models have been hinting at this. As a matter of fact, I was showing some models as of Monday indicating that. So we've got the one that is moving away, and the other that is going to stay down in the Bay of Campeche. Peachy. If it's able to get into the Gulf, it will be the far western Gulf early next week. And note, nothing is expected in the Gulf. Conditions will be too hostile for anything to try and really organize and move farther north. If we were to see this thing organize, it likely would move right into Mexico. And notice that is what both the GFS and the Euro are indicating right now. So this is a look at the GFS model through the rest of this weekend into the weekend. May see some broad organization, certainly a lot of rainfall. And then perhaps as we head further into the early to middle part of next week, we might see a little bit better organization. Too soon to tell if it'll be a depression or storm, but something that would move further into Mexico and bring with it some heavy rainfall. We've though been watching that tropical moisture, which extends down across southern Florida. And again, kind of unrelated to our invest. Even as the system moves off the Florida coast, Florida is still going to be impacted by the heavy rainfall through tomorrow, maybe starting to get some more breaks Friday and on of the weekend, but the conditions around the Gulf of Mexico right now with dry air and wind shear will persist through the weekend and next week. As a matter of fact, we've got an upper trough that will help to reinforce that strong wind shear. Anything trying to get into the Gulf is going to be deflected away. And that's what I mean when I'm saying that little system in the Bay of Campeche cannot move north into this strong wind shear by mid next week. If it's going anywhere, it would have to move toward Mexico. So we are in good shape. What we've been watching and really talking about since last week is that tropical moisture and the eventuality of it moving in our direction. But just how much of it gets here? Well, the models have started to back off yet again with just how much rain we get. Not that we need to see several inches of rainfall, but it'd be nice to get some of that rain. Definitely think we're going to have an increase in cloud cover and some showers. The big question, though, is going to be the timing of that moisture moving in and this big upper level high. This is actually what's going to heat us up as we head into the next several days. By the end of the weekend weekend, this high is going to be centered out to our east over more the Carolinas and maybe Virginia, and it's going to be associated with some dry air. So well, we will have the moisture coming in from the south, we're also going to have this dry air coming in from further inland. So it'll be kind of a question as to what of, which of those wins out. Is it the moisture? We get a lot of rainfall or is it the dry air or kind of a combination? As of right now, I am not really thinking it's going to be a complete deluge Sunday into early next week. Definitely we'll get some scattered showers here starting this end of the weekend and early next week, but not a complete washout each and every day. And as of right now, lower confidence on our rain chances as we head from Sunday, Father's Day and further on into next week. What else we'll be watching, though, is where some of that heavier rainfall falls because it could lead to numerous inches of rain. If you remember yesterday, models were going with like three to five inches. They have now kind of backed off two to three and started to place a little bit of a focus out to our west. So it may be that the bulk of that heavier rain that we have been talking about does stay a little bit more to our west. And for us, it may be that combination of the moisture and dry air that really limits the rain intensity and rain coverage. 